Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. We haven't had a chance to meet since uh, it's been 2018. Hi, Jeremy. Good. Nice See to meet you again. You again. And yes, of course, David. hi, David. Um, I just wanted to share with you my views on the color hardwood. Um, well, to start with, I think it's a really nice warm color, which uh, I feel when people get to their homes and when they use it in their homes, they'll always feel very comfortable. They'll feel um, uh, that they've cut away from the noise outside. It'll feel like a sanctuary that they're entering. And I like the fact that it has an inherent warmth in it, which uh, given the, <coughs> excuse me, the, the times that we live in, these yeah. very confusing sure. times that we live in, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to be in, in an environment or you can create an environment which has the kind of warmth that this color um, does offer. Um, it's a very interesting, I think there's a, a gray and a pink mixed, am, yes, am I right? That's right. In, in saying yeah. that, because yeah. in different lights, actually, it yeah. plays differently, Quite differently yeah. which is uh, very interesting. And uh, any more thoughts that you'd like to share on it, I'd love to hear. You're absolutely correct, Fan. We love to come to your home, to uh, paint your homes uh, in the warm hardwood color. We allow us opportunity. We believe that it truly really represents warmth. Um, and um, a home painted with that palette will do very well for the uh, family to snuggle in, to create memories together. And also in the oasis, a uh, calm place to come back to. Yeah, in a way, warmth is one of the, the key words for this year because it describes, of course, the types of colours that we're talking about, warm colours. But more importantly, it describes how you want to feel right, when, you, when, you, when you sit in that space. And it gets people back to this idea from the heart, which is why also we use heartwood as, as a name as well. So hopefully we can help people rediscover the warmth of their homes through this year. Um, I was just wondering, David, I think you're possibly the person I should ask. Are there any other colors that complement, any other complementing colors in this, with, with this hardwood color that we have out today? I think that if you've seen, um, if you've seen in the um, presentation by Jeremy, um, the hardwood color is the base color that we have. So the color of the moment that reflects the z gifts of the moment, the mood of the moment of the people, <coughs> uh, unpredictability. But within this base color, there are four different versatile palettes that we can choose from for different variations of this basic shape. Because what matters in the end is that we can talk about colors and what colors we think are trending. What's very important is that you and everybody here can find what's right for you, you know, for your home. So some people are quite color confident and they can do that, others less so. The palettes are especially good for people who are a bit less confident, so just you, you can use a palette as it is, right. or experiment with it so you can get the trend and align it to your own personal taste, just like what you do when you decide what to wear or, or right. anything else. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess what to wear then when we design movies, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I guess. And when we're doing movies, um, and especially when you're playing a character, I think a character can only really come alive through some form of inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, what according to you pro would be, would make Heartwood come alive? I think that uh, Fan, uh, Heartwood is inspired from a theme, Welcome Home. But if for you particularly a, a famous celebrity, it's even more relevant. The home you come back to, uh, as an oasis for you to step back and relax. As life, life gets faster and our, our world gets uh, faster changing with our digital devices, we need to take time to step back, to relax, mm -hmm. to recharge. That's right. Yeah, and our, place needs to, our home needs to be a place where we can relax and turn down the noise, so to speak, switch off the machines and uh, to recharge. Well, um, I couldn't have said it better, David, because I mean, eventually, after all, home is really not a place, yeah. it's, it's a feeling. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think the hardwood captures this feeling really, really well for this year. Well, yes, as you all said, yes, home is not a place. It's a thank you so much for sharing that. And now I would request you all to kindly release the Color Feature book for the year. Can we have the Color Feature book joining us on stage? Can we have a big hand for the Color Feature book, everybody? What does the role? Sorry, uh, what does the colors uh, role plays in your life? 
What does the role of color play in my life? Plays in your life, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's uh, really depending on what your mood is, of course. But um, everything around us that we create, especially for ourselves, um, has some element of color in it because you choose for it to make you feel a certain way every time you experience it or you look at it. So be it your home, be it your car, be it the clothes that you wear, be it when you're designing a set, you know, um, there is a certain, there's always an emotion that goes behind it. Um, and you're celebrating that emotion within you and that color is, I think, a manifestation of, of what that emotion means to you and what that, what that object means to you. Thanks. Um, I'm loving your look, new look also. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, uh, this is, I can't really speak about it too much right now, unfortunately. But it is uh, some kind of work in progress that's going on. So hopefully at some point we'll talk, we'll talk soon about that. So if I could just ask you to just can you use the mic. Can you use the mic, please? Huh? Tell us more about this association and uh, what really inspired you to get associated with it? Uh, well, um, you know, uh, I genuinely do feel, I mean, I, I will uh, absolutely answer your question, but it's been about six or seven years now since uh, uh, the, this association of Dulux um, and, and myself have been, we've been together. Um, and the reason I think it's working is because there is a certain, um, from, from my end at least, there is an absolute trust in this brand, what they represent, the quality that they stand for. The fact that when they promise a certain deliverable to a consumer or to a client, it's always done absolutely the right way. Um, and when you work in film, I mean, that is what you're always endeavoring to do. You know, when you're making a film or writing a song or, or, or performing on stage, uh, you want to satisfy the person who's paid to come and watch your film or to listen to your music. Um, and to me, they, they represent quality in the highest form. They represent commitment to what they do in the highest, in the highest form. Um, and which is why I've always felt exceedingly comfortable and thankful at the same time that, uh, that they haven't yet replaced me with somebody else. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, hi, Farhan. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to know what's your favorite color that, that suits you right? uh, for the rooms and for your home. Ma'am, am I not looking wonderful in this color that I'm wearing today? The one that is now? Right now, this? Isn't that it nice? Cannot you put that color that you cannot use it in your on your walls on your walls. I'm talking. Why? Of course you can. Uh, house. I've and been the one to that is launched. It has G. The, no, no. You're talking about your coat color. <laughs> you ask me which color do I like, no? Yeah, yeah. Huh? You, which color do you like in your home? Oh, at home. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, really, this is uh, we are here to celebrate the color of the season. Yeah. which is heartwood. And in all honesty, it's a very interesting color. Maybe in this light, unfortunately, you're not being able to see it the way uh, I'm, I'm, you, you should be seeing it. But um, it's a really interesting mix of gray and pink. And I do have a lot of gray, actually, in, in my house. I do have a lot of wood in my house. Okay. Um, and this color genuinely does go very nicely uh, as a blend with all those elements and those little things. And how's your journey been with Dulux? Sorry? How's your journey um, been? As I uh, just answered uh, the gentleman who asked uh, the question before you, I think it's... For, for sorry? two years, I've been you are brand ambassador for, for the second... Six, seven years. It, it's been, it's yeah. been about six, six to seven years. Yeah. Now. So how's your journey about it, It's been wonderful. I, I mean, I have uh, absolutely no reason to complain mm -hmm. whatsoever. And uh, I just keep hoping that they have no reason to complain either. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Thank you. So a gentleman behind who wants to ask a question. Sir, before you ask that question, we are here to celebrate color. Let's celebrate color. Let's not move out of this hutke. Let's a celebrate the sukoon ka rang. Just a normal question. Kya uski uh, uh, naya season aane wala hai? Aur kya aap bhi kisi web series mein kabhi nazar aayenge? Kyunki aaj kal bahut bade bade actors. Uh, Main uh, pehle jo sawal apne poocha tha, uska jawab de deta hu. Uh, ki uh, Inside Edge ka season two definitely banega. Uh, that is work in progress. Um, or will I be in any web series or not? That remains to be seen. We'll discuss that on at some other time, if that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, do we have any more questions? Anyone? All right, there's someone here. Yes, hi, Farhan. I would like to ask that uh, Heartwood... Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, Farhan, I would like to ask that Heartwood is representing 
uh, the rawness, serenity, along with the feeling. How would you describe in your creative power? Because you're very good at it. And your association, of course, in the, that you are representing today. The feeling, the mood that has caught it. Right. Yeah. You know, um, o over the years, we've done, uh, there have been different colors. Uh, in Colors of the Year, we've had gold, one sort of similar kind yeah, of shade gold, of gold. gold uh, then then there was denim yeah. as well. Um, and they, they represented different things. I think what is very nice about this color is that, that it represents, to me, an, a certain earthiness, which I, I do like very much. Um, and I think it is a time uh, in the world, given everything that's going on, that people really need to find a certain grounding, find a certain rootedness, find some peace, you know, reconnect with the environment around them. Um, and to me, it represents all those things. You know, there, there's a certain inside-outside feel uh, to this color, but yet at the same time, it's not fiery, you know, it's it's kind of cool, it's serene, um, and I think the right word would be it, it would help you create a sanctuary. I think that's that's really the nice word for it. Very good, well spoken. Yeah. Okay, cool. uh, hi, uh, Farhan, Hali me concert hua tha jahan par ek uh, lady ni complain kiya tha aur aapne retweet bhi kiya tha ki iski uh, matlab women safety ko lekar aapne kaha tha ki iski jaaj hogi. To next time aap kitne, kyunki nahi raha ja sakta kyunki aap perform karte hain, to kis tarah security ki cheeze aap dhyan denge aage jo... Ji, thank you. Yeh sawal aapne mujhse poochha kyunki usi raat matlab ek kaafi lambi meeting hoi thi organizers ke saath aur humne matlab jo bhi decisions liye jane thi ya precautions liye ja sakte hain uh, there is that much prevention that is possible. If somebody really is in a, a mood to misbehave, they will end up doing it, unfortunately. Uh, but we did uh, uh, have a very long meeting regarding security. If somebody needs to complain, if they are uncomfortable, you know, they can be just asked to put their hands up. We have out to a security person call them. And after that, there is another concert with the organizers. And there is no problem with that girl or any woman. So it seems to have worked with them. But, uh, and hopefully, it will remain that way as we go forward. Sir, what is the market share of Dulux? If you can help us out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we are in a silent period now because, uh, so it's something I can't reveal because in a couple of days' time, we're going to be sharing the quarterly results. So if you don't mind, I can't share that information. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Farhan, one more question is mine. It's a little different. Dawn 3, what are you talking about? You said that you will be scripting, so you will announce all the things. When will we hear the announcement? When you get the answer, why are you asking the question? What is the update? It's exactly what you have before you have. Uh, Farhan, what's your take on the Consumer Protection Bill 2018, which says that if a celeb is found representing a misleading ad, he or she can be fined up to rupees 50 lakhs and also imprisoned? Do you think it's a right? It's a uh, bill in the right way. In the right well, um, I, I think it's still not passed. It's something yeah, it's that they're not, hoping it's, it's to. It's just a yeah. bill. It's not a. But bill. I, I do feel, and I've always felt this. Um, I see. I don't know. I'm not uh, qualified to speak about quantum of punishment and stuff. Uh, but I do feel that uh, when people represent something. It is important to do a to do your background a research to figure out whether the the company, the brand, the product um, is something that is going to benefit people in some way, you know. Especially if you're going to go around and tell them that it's going to benefit you. So I do believe in doing background checks as a celebrity with with any company, you know, that uh, that I I choose to associate with, and I think that's important to do. Saying which, it's also happened with me in the past where uh, I have been associated with a company which was very well reputed, but that, that product that they put out, somehow people didn't enjoy and didn't expect, but then I don't know how I could be held responsible for a bad product. You know, so there's, there are fine lines, um, and people will need to figure out, and I guess time will tell how those things play out. You know, we may have people who get away, we may have some scapegoats, you never know. You know, it could go both ways. But if it forces celebrities, not only in film, but be it sport, be it in any other thing, to um, put in more effort to do their homework and to figure out if this is legit, so to speak, then that's a good thing, yes. if that happens. Okay. Yeah. This product was there. Well, that doesn't matter now. <laughs> Farhan, uh, good yeah. evening to you. And happy new year to you. Oh, happy new year, sorry. Okay. Uh, Farhan, many actors, popular actors, are endorsing paint brands. Mr. Ritik, Mr. Shahrukh, and actresses also. Aap bhi kar rahe. Khari dhe koon sa? Dulux na bhai. Ye kaisa sawal ho? How to choose for the consumer? Like so many people. Listen to me. And be blind and 
Uh, that is up to you. You want to be blind? I'm not telling you to be blind. Uh, about the consumers. Yeah. No, no. So you go, na. You you can. Arre, you meet people, research, find out what suits you, find out where you can get it. These people, Dulux, offer you the best quality that's possible for you to get. That's what they are promising. That's what we are promising. Beyond that, if there's anything that you would like to do, that's as a consumer, no one can force you to do anything. Yeah. One more question to you before um, I ask to David. David, how do you plan to put across this, uh, uh, across your portfolio to Indian uh, Indian consumers? Well, uh, we have now launched the color of the year, Heartwood. So right after this, we'll go on our website, uh, which is accessible to all the public, www.dulux.com, the India. And after that, um, we'll be reaching out to our painter base and also interior decorators ID around the country. So um, and also, when you go to the shops, uh, we will have some decals as well to talk about the color of the year. Yeah. Farhan, um, uh, Excel Entertainment, you're still as associated with it. Fukre did really well. Um, yeah, don't say I'm full, still associated with it. It's my company. Mm -hmm. huh. Yes. Fukre did well. Uh, your thoughts on it? Well, um, I'm exceedingly happy that the audience received the film the way that they did. I'm very happy for Mrig, who worked very hard to put that film together. Um, and just the fact that people have enjoyed it the way that they have. You know, uh, there's one thing that a film does well, but really, I mean, from um, the reviews of the film uh, to the audience word of mouth on that film, and then, of course, eventually the box office, um, all of it has been very positive, very healthy, and like my deepest gratitude to all the people who went and watched it in the theaters. What next from your uh, Excel? Uh, the next film that will release will be Gold, which will release in August. Zoya has started shooting a film, I'm sure you're aware of that, um, a couple of days ago. So that's the other one. And then, of course, there's many other uh, projects in development. Thank you, Farhan. Uh, Thank you. Want to see you more, uh, more and more in the coming year. Thank you very much. Uh, Farhan, your uh, film, uh, Raiz, your film, which you produced, Raiz and Kabil, when it was released in the box office, it was a bit of a loss. Both of them were big films. Now, once again, there is a clash between Padman and Padmavati. How do you see that two big films are going to avoid? Sir, I had a lot of answers for Raiz's time. Now, you can ask the producers of Padman and Padmavati. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. On that note, we come to the end of this evening. Thank you, Farhan, for being a part of this. Thank, thank you, Jeremy. You, thank thank you, you, David. Thank you.